All right, uh, good morning, YouTube. Um, today, uh, well, it's about 90 some degrees here this morning, and I want to talk a little bit about uh, some of the activities that goes on here in the city. I don't know too much about the Burning Man. Uh, but I've heard that it might be here. So I don't know where exactly it's, it's staged at. The next is uh, the one particular concert uh, activities was the Electric Daisy Carnival, which was held that would be part of north eastern part of the city near the racetrack and uh, that's held every year about in June so that's mainly it's like DJ type of uh, um, activities a lot of DJs and uh, I guess a lot of young kids are into that so that's not a concert and uh, the next one is it's called Life is Beautiful. I think that's held in September. I'm not sure. Mainly they they have a really really the top top um, some of the top entertainers uh, uh, are involved in that. The next one is called First Friday. Now now. That's held like every Friday here, here in the city, and it's mainly downtown on Fremont Street. Um, and usually they have, uh, I think, real top of the line, uh, eight number one acts. That's usually uh, are involved in that. So that's that's like it. Uh, first Friday of of every month. Okay, next is on the strip. It's called the T-Mobile concert, and uh, not excuse me, the T-Mobile uh, Center, which, uh, from what I understand, is a lot of activities going to be there. I think um, some of the top uh, entertainers are coming in. Uh, I think Bob Streisand is going to be there. Um, I think they got a new hockey team here in Vegas, so I don't know if the hockey team's going to be there or where they're going to eventually be at. But um, the T-Mobile Center, that's that's one of the hot new ventures here here in town. And I don't know how many it holds, probably about 40,000, I guess. I, I, I haven't been to any concerts that year. So it, I think it's a pretty, pretty large uh, venue there. Also on Fremont Street, um, it's a DJ there. Well, it's two DJs. There's three stages. It's two DJs there, and also during the during the day, they starting up a little cons the concerts and bands a little earlier now. I don't know if it's because of the the heat or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, it's a lot of new new. Uh, well, not necessarily new bands, but. It's a lot of uh, bands, uh, mainly rock bands, that start playing early. Sometimes I come there about four, four, four or five o'clock, and I think they usually get started up at probably about four or five o'clock. And they usually, some of the bands are pretty, pretty good. Mainly rock band. They starting to add, add a, um, some different type of, of cultural music, a reggae. So it's it's different. I think Vegas is. Especially the downtown is kind of growing and changes too. They're trying to diversify it for the economy too. Also, Vegas is starting to add some new clubs. When I first came here, there was only like one disco club that that was here. I think that was on uh, on Sahara, and man, that was it. You know, now there's like. 
this is a lot of uh, real top of the line, kind of 